Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, how to write an equation of a line. So let's get started. So when you want to find the equation of a line, the first thing you want to be looking at is find out what the gradient is. Um, and then you need another point to actually work out the equation of the line. Now in this particular case, I've given you a nice little grid here. So if you look back at the series of videos that I've made in this um, series, you would see in the previous one I showed you guys how to make a gradient or how to find gradient given two points. So gradient is equal to change in y uh, divided by change in x. So in this case, uh, I have my x2 and y2 here and x1 and y1 here, which is the second point. So if that's the case, my gradient is going to be 5 minus, 5 minus 1, and that's going to be divided by 2 minus 0. Okay, so which means my gradient is going to be 4 over 2, and I've got m is equal to 2. Now, at this point, um, you might remember that um, from E11 or before that, that the equation of a straight line is y equals to mx plus c. All right, so this is the one I'm going to show you guys first, and then I'll show you how to work with the equation of the line itself. So in this case, we already have figured out that the gradient is equal to 2. Now, c value is generally, uh, well, it's known as the y-intercept. It is the y value of where the line actually cuts the y axis. So in this case, c value is going to be 1. So we can actually write this equation as y equals to 2x plus 1. All right, so that's my first example. All right, on to the next example. So in this case, I've been given two points. And what I'm going to do is, as I did before, I'm going to work out my gradient. All right, so I'm going to call this uh, x2 and y2. And I'm going to call this one x1 and y1. So that means the gradient is equal to change in y divided by change in x. So change in y, I've got 10 minus 4 divided by 9 minus 3, which means I'm going to get 6 over 6 and my gradient is 1. Now, in this particular case, we don't actually have the y-intercept, so we can't just use y equals mx plus. We can't just look at the value of c and just substitute it. But what we can do is we know this. We know that the equation of, of a straight line is going to be y equals mx plus c. All right, And we already know what gradient is. Gradient is equal to 1. And we can actually choose one of these points. So what I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose um, maybe this point here. So I'm going to choose 3, 4 as my x and y coordinates. Because then what I can do is, because I have y equals to mx plus c, now the y value is 4 when x is equal to 3. All right, And the gradient is 1. So that's going to be 1. And of course, I have plus c. So what I have here is 4 equals to 3 plus c, therefore c is equal to 1. So the equation for this line is going to be y equals to 1x plus 1. So if I was to draw a line joining these two red dots, then what should happen is it should cut the, the y-axis at 1. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a straight line just to prove you guys. And there we go. As you can see, it actually cuts when y equals to 1. And that's how you find the equation for a straight line, given these given two points when you don't have the c value. All right, let's have a look at this situation here. In this situation, you've given a gradient, and you're given a point, and you're asked to find the equation of the line. So again, we can straight up substitute this. So we know that we, y equals mx plus c is the equation of straight line. And the point we're going to use is obviously 8 and 2. And we've also been given the gradient, which equals to 2.5. So in this case, it's a straight substitution. So y equals to m, which is the gradient, which is 2.5, uh, multiplied by x, which in this case is 2, and then plus 
8, which is the, oops, sorry, I got that wrong way around. The y is supposed to be 8. There we go. All right, and c is what we're looking for. And I'm going to put the c there. Okay, so this is the case. Then we have 8 is equal to 5 plus c, and therefore c is equal to 3. So the equation for this line is going to be y equals 2.5x plus 3. Now normally what happens is in your exams or anything like that, uh, or even just generally, if you, if, if you actually go look up online what is the equation of a straight line, uh, they would actually give with an equation of a straight line that looks like this. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, that will be the equation of a um, equation of a line. I want to actually show you guys how this um, works out. All right, so sorry, I'm just this is my proof area, so I'm just going to roughly show you guys. So say you got a point here called um, uh, I'm going to call this uh, x1 y1. All right, and then I'm going to have another point which is going to be I'm just going to, going to call it x, y. All right. So what happens is, I mean, remember that when you have two points, your first step is to find the gradient. All right. Now, to find the gradient, gradient is equal to change in y divided by change in x. So if we were to do this, what we end up getting is the gradient equals y2. Well, in this case, I'm going to use uh, this is x2 and y2 there. So y2 is going to be y minus y1 divided by uh, change in x, which is x2 minus x1. Or in this case, it would be x minus x1. So this is what my general equation for the gradient is. But if what you, sh you should notice is I, sh I can actually rearrange this to this. Because all it is, is if I cross multiply, I'm going to end up with x multiplied by x1, sorry, x minus x1 multiplied by the gradient equals y minus y1. And at this point, what you can do is to find the general equation, because you're going to have this point here, if you substitute those values, you should get the equation of um, a line. All right. I'm going to show you guys how to do this uh, with this particular method in the next slide. Um, you can actually use the other method as well. I mean, you're still going to get the same answer, but I think with proofs, um, especially if you're generalizing, this formula tends to work a lot better. Uh, anyway, I'll show you an example in the next slide. All right. So with this question, we've got to find the equation of a line. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work out um, what the gradient is. So either method that you work out, you're still going to need to find the gradient. All right. So the gradient is equal to, let's do it here. The gradient is equal to change in y minus uh, divided by change in x. So y2, I'm going to use this as x2 and y2. This one here is x1, y1. So then what I have is negative 2 minus 4 divided by 4 minus minus 1. Therefore, gradient is equal to negative 6 divided by 5, or in this case, negative 1.2. <clears throat> okay, so this I'm going to show you guys how to do it both ways. So the first method I'm going to show you is using just your normal y equals mx plus c. All right, now in this case, m is equal to negative 1.2, and I'm going to use the point 4, negative 2. So what happens is, um, because y equals to negative 2, so I have negative 2 equals, uh, the gradient is negative 1.2 multiplied by 4 plus c. This looks about right, yep. So then negative 2 equals 4 times negative 1.8 is going to be negative 4.8 
plus C. And when I rearrange this, I'm going to get 2.8 equals to C. Therefore, the equation is going to be Y equals negative 1.2X plus 2.8. Now, if I was to do this the other method with the equation of a line, then I have Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So the point that I'm going to use, I'm going to still use the same point. Well, actually, I might use the, uh, the other point this time, just to make things a bit more interesting. So I'm going to use negative 1, 4 for this one. And my gradient hasn't changed, so that's still negative 1.2. So then what I have is y minus y1, in this case is going to be 4, equals negative 1.2. x minus negative 1. So I have y minus 4 equals negative 1.2x. Uh, now negative and positive, that's going to be, I'm just going to do this this way, just so you guys can see. So you've got those two negatives convert to positive. So then y minus 4 equals negative 1.2x minus 1.2. And y equals negative 1.2x uh, plus 2.8. And as you can see, you get the same answer for both of them. Cool. That's it for this session, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully, if you have, hopefully you understand what I've done here. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comments below, and I'll try my best to get back to you. Cool. Thanks again.